Hey guys, this is Zebra Girl, and today I'm bringing you part four of Static and Love. And the chapter's called Birthday Gifts for You. Hope you enjoy. Dark usually wakes you up at 7.30 in the morning. But he woke up at nine today, and everywhere was quiet. You got up and got dressed. Hello? He said. He walked out of the bedroom. Mark? Dark, where are you? No one was in the living room, but you walked into the kitchen, and then Mark and Dark yelled, Happy birthday! You squealed in happiness and hugged them both. Thank you both so much. Then, you stopped hugging them. Wow, you did only tell us yesterday, and we couldn't prepare much, but we both bought you a gift, Mark said. I don't care if you didn't give me a party. I'm happy that I'm spending my birthday with my best friend and boyfriend. You smile. Mark smiled at you and handed you a small box. What is it? You, d you guys didn't have to get me anything. Dark then replied. Well, this is why we went to the jewellery shop and we got you something. Open Mark's first. He slowly opened the small box and it was a small green ring. Oh, thanks, Mark. It fits perfectly. You put the ring on and hug Mark. Then Dark pulled out two small boxes. Open this one first. He gave you the small box, and you opened it, and it was a black bracelet with a little D hanging off of it. You put it on, and it was a perfect fix. Thanks, Dark. I love it. You said with a big smile, and you hugged Dark. You haven't even opened your second gift. You let go of Dark and then opened the second gift, which was a necklace with a black flower. You feel tears coming and one drop down your face. What's wrong, Molly? Don't you like it? Dark? I love it! I've never had anything like this before. Would you put it on around my neck? You turned around so he could put the necklace on. And he, did, and he clipped it on. He turns you around. You look... So beautiful. You blushed. Right, you two. Even though it's my birthday, I'll be cooking breakfast. So go on and wait. Okay, that's cool. Mark says and he leaves. Dark hugs you and kisses you on the cheek. And then he leaves. You start making pancakes. When a shiver came down your spine. Oof. But you ignored it for now. So you continue making pancakes. It took some time, but you decided to name these pancakes Silly Gummy Bear Pancakes. They look... They look good. A mysterious voice... They look good, you said. But then a mysterious voice whispered, They do indeed. You began to panic. The voice isn't Mark's or Dark's. Your vision started to go blurry. And you fell on the floor. And you faint. Dark and Mark run into the kitchen to find you on the floor. Molly? Molly? Dark, what's wrong with her? I felt it when she came to the kitchen. Something's in her mind after she read the book. You don't think she has released him, do you? Just as long as she doesn't think about him. If it doesn't infect her mind, then we should be okay. Let's get her into the living room so she can recover. Mark and Dark picked you up and placed you on the sofa. You wake up in a pitch black room wearing your pink bra and underwear. Dark? Mark? Where are you? You hear your voice echo through the darkness. They won't be coming. Sorry. Who? Who are you? Then a man walked out from the shadows. He wore a striped suit top, red and white, with blue trousers and a pink moustache and a little golden gun in his pocket. My name? I can't tell you that yet, but thanks to you for reading that book, I will be visiting, visiting you. Molly? How do you know my name? I'm in your mind. So it's easy. And it's your birthday, is it not? Yes, it is. The mysterious man continued to walk towards you. You started to panic. I'm not going to hurt you. Much. 
but I have a gift for you, my dear. And it might hurt. He grabbed your wrist and placed his hand on top, and something started to burn. Stop it! Stop it! It burns! He then stopped. He saw a metal W in your hand, with pink metal nerves coming out of it. The mysterious, the mysterious man picks you up like a child. Time to wake up, Molly, and have a nice birthday. He leans in and kisses you. Then you black out. You, s you woke up suddenly on the sofa with a coughing fit, like something was stuck in your throat. Then you gasp, and you let out a little pink cloud, and then it disappears. Molly! Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah. Ma Dark touches your hand, only for you to let out a blood-piercing scream. What the fuck? Mark, look at her hand. She has a metal W fused into her hand. She coughed up a pink cloud. She will, she will be okay, I promise, Dark. Let's get her to bed. Dark picked her up, avoiding her hand. I'm, I'm not tired. Just have a rest, okay? Okay. Dark placed you on the bed and walked out and sat down on the sofa with Mark. Mark, what are we going to do? She has, a, she has a metal in her from him. If she remembers, what, happen, what happened... If she remembers what happens, then he will come back for her and kill her. So what are we going to do? We need to remove the W from her. But the problem is that there are some pink nerves going into her nerves, so... So what? We may have to remove her hand. That's not a good idea. We don't need to worry yet, as long as she can't remember. Yeah. Dark started to smell the air. <sniffs> Do you smell something burning? Mark and Dark looked at the kitchen. Breakfast! Dark ran into the kitchen to see the oven on, un, un, uh, oven on fire. Dark spread his wings and flapped them out and put it out. Dark put the pan into the sink and, and puts the water on and it steams up. His wings fold back into his... His wings fold in on his back and they went away. Dark walked out with a, with a sad face. Dark, what's up now? Mark asked. They both sat on the sofa and started to talk, but Dark began to cry. None of this would have happened if she was here. I wanted to protect her, but how can I if she was if she has him on his on her mind? Dark, listen to me. Remove the mark from her and take her home. If you don't want to hurt her. Dark looked angrily at Mark. I can't do that as I love her. She's my girlfriend. She's only been here for, what, four weeks at the most and you love her? Dark stands up and walk and starts to walk to your room. Yes, I do love her. Mark stands at the end of the hall and crosses his arms. That is what you said last time. But then you killed her for looking at another boy. Dark clenches his fists and runs to Mark and pins him against the wall. I do love Molly and she loves me back. I would never hurt her. Let me go, Dark. Dark slowly puts down Mark, and he then he looks at Dark with angry eyes. And the other girl you said you loved, you did stuff to her. And she became, she became pregnant, and she died from it. And so did the child. Dark covered his ears. Stop it, Mark! Stop it! Face the facts, Dark. If you try and love, you'll end up killing her. Believe me. Dark turns to Mark. I will ask her. And you s I will ask her. And I will prove to you that she loves me. Dark walks into your room. And you turn to see him there. Hi, Dark. Hey, Mark. Dark sat at the end of his bed. Dark? What's wrong? Do you love me, Molly? You sat up and crawled to him. And sat next to him. 
Yes. Of course I do. Why would you ask that? Because when I took you here, you hated me for what I did. And you don't know my past. Yes, I don't know your past. But that why, that's why it's called the past. I was scared when you took me and made me do everything for like a full month but then you start being nice I took a liking to you but look at what I did to you I created these scars on your neck and all these bruises on your body too yes that yes you did but you stopped some days ago and now I'm not scared of you anymore even if you do have a gruesome past. Dark looked at you with a sad face. I killed someone for looking at another boy. Another one? I did something horrible to her and she became pregnant and she died from it. And so did the child. You look at him with a sad face. Like I said, the stuff is in the past. And being a demon must mean you've done sins. But you know that me and Mark will help you. Dark looks at Mark and he smiles at him. Okay, she does, she, okay, so she does love you. I'm sorry that I said that stuff, Dark. Dark stands up and hugs Mark. Thank you, brother. Mark looks at Dark. And smiles at you. Have a nice birthday, Molly. I have to record some games. And Dark, keep that smile up. You look at Mark with a smile. No more I am bread. Yeah, good idea. Then Mark walked into his room and closed the door. You stood up and you turned, to, you turned Dark to ra around and hugged him. I don't care if you're human or a demon. I will always love you the way you are, Dark. He hugs you back. I promise, no matter what happens, I won't hurt you ever again. You smile at Dark and you walk past him and go into the kitchen. And Dark follows. What are you gonna? What are you doing now? Since my first meal went down the drain, I'm going to try and make a cake. Can I help? You smile. Of course you can. Dark walks into the kitchen and holds your hand with a W. Ow! It still hurts. Listen, the guy that he, that was in your head, did did he say his name? You look at him with scared eyes. No, he he didn't say his name. Does it hurt when you touch it? You poke the metal. No, it doesn't. Why? What are you going to do? Listen, the guy that you saw, he was sealed in that book and somehow he got into your mind. And for him to go away, I need to remove the W and it's going to hurt. Dark continued to hold your hand and with his other hand, he made his nails grow a few inches longer. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to dig my nails into the metal and pull it out. And it's gonna hurt like a bitch, okay? Just do it if it's gonna save me, okay? He puts his nails in, in the position. It's already hurting. Dark slowly dug his nails in into your skin to get to the bottom of the metal. You let out a horrible scream. Stop! Stop! It hurts. He pushes in more and finally grabs the bottom of the symbol. He started to pull as as it lo with long pink nerves. Go on, go. Sorry about that, guys. That was my niece. It's almost out. 
She continued to pull the nerves. It was really deep into your hand too. Then, snap! The W finally came out with most of the nerves, but some snapped. You fainted from the pain. What? She come to bite you up. You can both go now. I'm doing a video. Oh, wait, she's doing a video. Say bye. <sighs> Sorry about that, guys. My mom and my niece came into my room. The W finally came out with <gasps> with most of the nerves, but some snapped. He fainted from the pain, and Dark picks you up. The mark runs into the room. What the fuck was that screaming, Dark? She showed Mark the metal W that he pulled out. You got it out? Without breaking her hand? Yeah, somehow. Let me through, and so I can put it on the bed. Again. Dark and Mark carried you to your room, and placed you on the bed, and they let you rest. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed part four. I'm sorry for the interruptions. Um, that was my niece and my mom. They kept... My niece likes to come into my room a lot. So, sorry for that. Uh, you can skip those bits if you want. Um, and I hope to see you again in the next video. Bye!